Looking for gift ideas for the motorcycle rider in your life, or even just looking for an idea for the perfect gift to give yourself? Stick around because here come some of our top gift ideas for the motorcycle rider in your life, even if that happens to be you. We're going to quickly mention what not to buy the motorcyclist in your life. Avoid buying them oil, tires, chain lube, helmets, visors, gloves, or any riding gear as a general rule. We motorcyclists are incredibly fickle about such things, and so unless you know exactly the size and type of kit they want, don't do it. Fit is paramount, and we often have very specific needs and even stronger opinions. It's best to just avoid these things as gifts. So instead, we're going to cover some of the items that most every motorcycle rider will love and appreciate, starting with less expensive items and working our way up to some more extravagant gifts towards the end. So. Without further ado, let's dive in. Riders who struggle with hand or wrist pain may really love to have a throttle rocker. These guys are about $10 for a pack of two. They just slip over the hand grip and you set them to barely touch the heel of your hand when the throttle is closed. It works to allow the rider to keep the throttle open using all of their arm muscles without having to hold on as tightly to the hand grip with their fingers. Every rider needs to have a pair of silk glove liners, especially at only about 15 bucks. Silk is incredibly warm, but also super thin, so they'll fit under any favorite pair of leather motorcycle gloves and can really make the difference on those cooler rides. If you or the rider in your life rides a motorcycle with a chain, a grease ninja is a must. Yeah, I know, the name is silly, but these things are only about $15 and make chain maintenance infinitely less messy. Also, because it puts the lube where it matters most, the Grease Ninja helps extend the life of a chain. Chain lube is almost as sensitive a topic as politics and religion, so just buy them this tool and let the rider in your life choose their own chain lube. Speaking of devices that may need power, you can pick up one of these slick little USB charging plugs. They attach directly to the battery on any motorcycle and will allow your rider to charge their phone or whatever else they need charged while they're out riding. These things are super cheap, typically less than 20 bucks, and super handy. Riders who enjoy touring will really appreciate these therapy balls. They are small so they don't take up much space, but when they stop for the night, they can roll around on them and it works wonders on back and shoulder muscles. Do you worry about the rider in your life riding in the dark? Well, buy them this slick set of black retroreflective 3M stickers. They can stick them just about anywhere, and because it's black, it won't detract from the beauty of their bike. In the daylight, it just looks black, but when light hits the tape after dark, they reflect bright white, making the rider a lot more visible. $20 gets you this pretty large set. Touring riders especially need to carry a basic assortment of tools with them. Most motorcycles come with these janky plastic tool bags, but you can get these much nicer nylon bags that allow the rider to better customize the tools they'd carry and organize their tools into these pockets so they can find the one they need without having to dump everything out. And they're only about $20. So this next gift is pretty universal, but when it comes to road trips, we love having our favorite adult beverage stowed in our luggage. And our favorite storage device are these flasks from Stanley for about $35. They have never leaked a drop, and they seriously take a beating. They seem to be the perfect size to stow nicely away without taking up too much space. Probably one of my personal favorite items of riding gear, one that I will not leave home without, regardless if it's hot or cold, is the Humble Buff at about $25. They come in hundreds of colors and patterns, but the merino wool version is far and away our favorite. It's a tube that goes over the neck while riding, keeping the sun, rain, bugs, wind, and cold from hitting them where they are otherwise pretty exposed. But most importantly, they don't impact the ability to turn their head and look around. In fact, if you only buy the rider in your life one item off this list, this item would be our recommendation. All the wind noise and highway sound your rider is being exposed to is hard on their hearing. Show them you love them and that you want to keep being heard by buying them a box of our favorite earplugs. 
The yellow and pink laser lights from Howard Leet without cords are some of the most comfortable and quiet plugs we've ever used. And an entire box, which should last them a year or more, is only around $25. If your rider has ever had to transport their bike anywhere, like maybe a track day, then they need these tie down straps from Pro Taper. These are, without a doubt, the best straps we've ever used. They lock into place, they have integrated soft straps, and they have this great Velcro bit to keep the excess strap from flapping in the wind. At only $35, they would still be a value at twice the price. Ram mounts have become the universal method for which most riders attach phones, action cameras, and GPS devices to their bikes, but they've come a long way in the last few decades. They now make a myriad of motorcycle attachments allowing the rider to put a ram mount virtually anywhere. We are especially fond of the fork stem ball base and the handlebar clamp base. Add in a double socket arm and they now have the means to put any electronic device pretty much anywhere in their bike's cockpit. More and more riders are keeping their phones attached to their handlebars, largely to use as a GPS, but the struggle comes from finding a mount that prevents that $1,000 mobile device from bouncing down the road. Our current favorite attachment system is the quad lock. The device will snap into place just by rotating it, and it's really nifty how you can get a case specific to their phone that isn't big and cumbersome, either on the bike or on the device, making this system our current favorite. Cold hands are miserable, and this heated grip kit from Bike Master is a great solution. Once you have heated grips, it's hard to ever go without. I may have even installed these on a race bike at one point in time. However, you may want to check with your rider before you buy because while most motorcycles do not come with these from the factory, a few bikes do. Going back to motorcycle tires, motorcycles are incredibly sensitive to tire pressure. Even the difference in pressure as little as 5% can cause the bike to handle dangerously and wear out those expensive tires even faster. Every motorcyclist needs to have a high quality tire pressure gauge that they can rely upon to be sure their pressure is set perfectly before every ride. One of our favorites is this one from Intercomp. It's one of the best values in tire gauges. It's about $50, but it performs on par with gauges two and three times more expensive. And yes, you can buy $200 tire pressure gauges. You can really take the tire thing to the next level with a small pancake compressor. Small enough to fit in a closet and coming in at only about $60 to $70, these little guys will make your rider's life so much easier, allowing them to air up their tires from their driveway or garage and mostly saving them from the huge hassle of having to find a gas station with a working coin operated tire pressure station. Plexus is the best cleaner we found for cleaning visors and windscreens. It was developed by the Air Force for cleaning fighter jet canopies. It's the only stuff we've used that doesn't scratch or make the plastic on helmets and windshields become hazy. It's a little bit on the pricey side for what it is. A two pack is around $45, but a couple of cans of this and a pack of microfiber cleaning rags will for sure make the rider in your life smile. Now we move into the bigger ticket items starting with this great little tail bag from Nelson Rig. For a tail bag, it's super affordable at around $100 to $125, depending on which size you opt for, and it comes in at least four sizes. It attaches to the back seat of most any motorcycle. It's sleek, expandable, attaches and detaches quickly, and keeps stuff out of the way without looking too frumpy, and won't scratch the paint. It's a great way to carry those extra necessities in a way that you can get at them without a lot of hassle. For day rides or week-long trips, the rider in your life will enjoy having a little extra storage. This next one is kind of weird, but also kind of awesome. The Exotog Vest at $130. It's this super slim, super light underlayer that packs just about anywhere because it folds up to about the size of a legal envelope, but can be deployed quickly if things get really cold. Basically, you put it on, blow in a little bit of air, and then the riding jacket goes on top. The rider in your life will have an extremely warm, windproof layer of insulation, no matter what kind of riding jacket they use. It's a relatively new product that was voted as the best new gear of 2019 in the UK, and despite how weird it is, 
it's one of my favorite bits of kit, largely because of how small it is, I mean, how packable it is. And it's uncanny how well it works. Plus, it can be used for other things, like as a pillow. I even put it on my dog once when he fell into a creek in the middle of the winter. The Coaco Coco Coaco Cowco Throttle Lock is another great way to minimize hand, arm, and shoulder fatigue on long rides. It basically holds the throttle open, but what we like about the Coaco is these big lugs on the side that make it super easy to turn off, on, or adjust while riding and wearing motorcycle gloves. But for around $140 or so, this is the best throttle lock we've come across, even if we have no idea how to say the name. Helmet communication systems are another product that have come a long way over the last few years. Even riders who ride alone most of the time love these things because they'll link up with their phone or GPS device and allow the rider to receive turn-by-turn -turn voice prompts. Head southeast towards block one entry road or they can just listen to a favorite podcast or music while riding. They can be purchased as a solo or double set, so the price ranges from $250 to $450. We currently prefer the Cardo Pack Talk Slim or the Pack Talk Bold, but the Senna systems are also really good. Action cameras are nothing new. GoPro is practically a household name, but the new GoPro Hero 8 is a pretty major advancement in action cameras, largely because of what they are calling hypersmooth, it basically makes everything you shoot look like it was done with a steady camera, a drone. A lot of riders use these not only to record their favorite roads or their track day glories, but they are super popular with riders who use them like a dash cam during their daily commutes, should anything go awry. The new A also has attachments for lights or microphones, making it really suitable for doing a motorcycle vlog. At $400, they aren't exactly a whimsical purchase, but this really is the best and most practical camera we think GoPro has ever made. This one may actually be more for you than them, a satellite communicator. These devices will send out a live track of where your rider is, and should they run into trouble, they can send an SOS and call for help, or more likely, just keep you informed that everything is going smoothly. The new ones even have two-way satellite texting capabilities, so no matter where they are in the world or how far out into the boonies they may be, they are not out of touch. We really like the Garmin InReach systems. Our favorite is the InReach Mini, starting at around $300, but Spot is another popular brand that a lot of people use. And finally, what may be the ultimate gift, a Spot in the Yamaha Champions Riding School. Yeah, it's not gonna be that cheap, while the Champ Street courses start as low as $150 to $500, the Ultra Mega two-day Champ School hovers around $2,200. While they are based out of New Jersey, they do operate out of a few other locations, but there is no better gift than the gift of riding more proficiently. In the description, we've provided links to all the items on this pretty long, comprehensive list of motorcycle rider gift ideas. We really hope this has helped you find something for your motorcycle-obsessed loved one. Also, I would love to hear about some of the best and some of the worst motorcycle gifts you've ever received. So let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and ride well.